Hey, it's Jeremy here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to improve your workflow when working on a brand design project. And thanks, Eagle, for sponsoring this video. So how can you improve your workflow as a designer? For me, I'm always trying to be organized and trying to keep things neat, but when you're working with just, you know, your PC, all my folders and files, they can get messy. The UI is not very clean and cool. And overall, like things just can, can be all over the place. And that's why I like using Eagle. It's actually a really, really cool app because you can manage all your files and folders. You can add tags. You can customize a whole bunch of things that uh, help you, you know, keep things organized. And I'm gonna show you how to use it um, for one of my recent projects I've been working on called Odyssey. It's a travel design project. So I'm in Eagle and it's got a really clean UI. I really like it. And I've got a whole bunch of images that I've been gathering from online um, that was in my folders. And you can see here got a whole bunch of images here. And the cool thing about Eagle is I've already gone ahead and started to organize all my images. So I've got some of my files. It reads PSDs, um, which is really cool. I've got um, also like PNGs and JPEGs. It reads a whole bunch of different file types. I've got my inspiration folder. So um, you can see I've got subfolders within that. So if I click on my subfolder, I can uh, zoom in by pressing control plus or minus, it also uses a bar here. So I've got some inspiration. I was really looking for that, um, you know, so images that I found on Unsplash about like travel and how I got these images were actually using the Eagle extension. So I have a Google Chrome extension, look at the top right, you can see I can click on it. And he, they got some shortcut keys, you can press Alt zero um, and capture areas, etc. But all I have to do is if I find a nice image that I like, all I have to do is right click and click save image to Eagle then you'll get like a little pop notification with the sound. And then if I go back, it's literally saved within two seconds on my Eagle app. And now I can look at that image. So that's how I got the images for the project. I've got some UI ideas as well. I really like the full width and the um, big header type of design. So I've got UI. I've also got a photo of design inspiration. So I've got logos, as you can see on the left here. And I also color coded. So I can right click and literally color code my folders. You can also, you know, export folders. I can rename them. I can, you know, create new folders really easily and all the shortcuts are there just by right clicking, super simple. So I've got a whole bunch of logos here and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I've got icons, a bit of my brand colors, um, competitors websites as well. And if I want to zoom in, I can just click on the image and press space bar. And so I can, you know, look at it full screen, which I really love. Press escape, get out of that. And then also I've got a couple of mockups that I've already created from the brand that I was working on the other day. So let's jump into Illustrator. And you can see here, I've got my, my files. I'm just gonna move this toolbar to the side real quick. And overall, you can see I've got my logo design here. So I started off with some images and the cool thing is I can always just jump into to Eagle and let's say I want like a couple of these logo images. I can, you know, click on them, I can drag and I can literally just drop them into Illustrator. So it becomes super easy. I'm pretty sure I can also copy and paste as well. So it's really easy to, you know, copy paste your files. So when I'm working on a design, so, um, you know, for example, if I have them on the side there whilst I'm creating this logo. So I was creating a Odyssey logo, really went for a, a nice bold icon. And then the typography um, was Montreal um, Jazz, I think. Uh, I did have the grotesque version there as well, but I try to keep it really simple. And then I was playing around with the typography a little bit and the icon to see if I can create something unique. I like this idea of like sort of flipping it. I thought about doing like a, a moon inside the, the O or something, but I decided just to keep it a bit, a bit more simple. And then um, as you can see here, this is sort of the final design I came up with. So you've got that with the icon, it's like a little star, say for traveling, exploring, because that was like sort of part of the brief. Thrill seekers, then you have like sort of this um, sunset, this crescent, um, sort of this globe idea of like traveling around the world. And then I flipped the S just to make it unique, which is cool. I don't know, it looks interesting. And then played around with some icons here. So that was the logo design. And now um, what I'm gonna do is actually create sort of a bit of the UI. So I've got my logos here and now I was just gonna create a, a nice header image and we're gonna use Eagle um, to figure that out. The cool thing about Eagle is I can click up the top. You've got like filters. So if I click on tags, I can search by different tags. So for example, I've tagged logos here. So I can click, it'll just show me the logos. If I go to all, um, you can see, go to the, the top uh, in my all folders, I can go tags and maybe I just wanna find UI. So I'm gonna click UI 
and boom, it's gonna show me all the images that are tagged with the UI tag. So if you click an image, you can see on the right, I've got like a on the tag section in the inspector. You can see it's, this is a cool feature. It actually shows the colors, so I can click on the colors. I can copy the hex code, which is actually awesome. I can put the tag there, add notes if I want to, etc. All the information's on the right. And I'm just gonna zoom in here. And I really love um, this one here. I feel like this probably fits the, the design that I wanna go to. So I'm gonna drop this in to this. And I'm gonna start to create. So I'm gonna get my logo here that I had. And let's, let's put it in the middle here. So I've just got a, a page uh, 1920 by 1080 pixels, which is looking really good. And I've got my color palette there. Now I'm gonna use the font that I was using, uh, Montreal, there we go, grotesque, bold. I wanna make it white here. Book now. Go about page. Um, have a page for flights. Um, explore. That could be sort of be like the blog, then the flights, and then we've got like book now um, and the about. I think that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna bring this up. And I'm just gonna make it the background color and drop this. Uh, and uh, what I wanna do is go to my color guide. And usually what I like to do is sort of find a hue that is um, a bit light. I don't wanna go too purple, but I wanna sort of have like a purple gray there and then maybe brighten it up a little bit. So I'll go to my colors, go HSB, and I'll put bring the brightness up. So it's not 100% white, it's sort of like a, a gray sort of grayish color. I think that works really well. And I might drop it down to Demi Bold. Beautiful. Just going to move this. Cool. Now, one of the taglines that I did have um, as part of my copy, travels to places unknown. I'm just gonna copy and paste that in. think is really cool to the places unknown I think that's nice now I'm gonna go back to Eagle and find one of these images so I'm gonna go back to my design inspiration and actually go to inspiration and go click on images so I really liked one of these images I think they're really really great um, I could potentially use any one of them there's a whole bunch of cool ones here even this one is nice Mm. I think this this waterfall one or even this this volcano one looks really cool. So I'm gonna drag and drop that in into my design here. Now, I love how I can just easily just copy and paste and I can like visually see everything. And the cool thing is you can actually play around with different libraries as well. So I'm just gonna make a clipping mask key. So for example, if I go back to Eagle, you can see I'm actually in a different library. So I've got, I can always click on mirror design library. It's gonna load a different library. If I go back and go to Odyssey Travel World, it's gonna open this library. So you can save multiple libraries, which is really cool. And I think it's um, really useful when you have multiple brand projects at one time. So let's go back here. I made a clipping mask of the image. I'm gonna bring it to the back and I'm just going to make the background and I'm gonna go change it. We'll go to multiply, see what that looks like. You can also probably go, um, let's see what overlay looks like. Not nah, too dark, soft light, hard light. That's all right, let's see what color does. Color makes it sort of black, but I feel like um, we're gonna go with multiply. Usually I go with multiply and then I just drop the opacity a little bit as you can see there. So we're getting that color come through. Just wanna <laughs> adjust this. Uh... So it's bugging me there. All right, cool. So it's on the artboard there. You can see how I'm progressing. And 
cool. I just love the simplicity of this design. And maybe... I think we're gonna just bump up the... The brightness of that. I think that's cool. And... Maybe put a tagline. Um... Wondering Wonder the Wonder the world um Wonder the world with confidence something like that I don't know Cool and what we can actually do Maybe I'll put like a, a buy button uh, maybe it could be a search bar or something. <laughs> it was hiding that. Alright, cool. I'm ra so I rounded up the corners here. And then what I'm going to do. Bring this in. Make it smaller. Find your find your magical place. Whoop. And I'm gonna maybe drop that to should I go light? Yeah, I think light works well there. And Just make a quick like icon. Usually, if I do the search bar, I'm gonna go to icons here, and let's see if there's something we can use here. So many different ones. I thought these ones are really cool as well. Really simple, minimal, but have a bit of touch of um, that design element. I like this one. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Oh, that's, I think that's Airbnb's icons. <laughs> well, I do like the plane. Basically, all I want is this. So, obviously, I can make it myself. But let's just... Um, let's just trace this. Make it the same. Let's just add some spacing here. Find your magical place. Cool. And I think maybe we'll make this that orange color. I think that works. And maybe we need to add a bit of that color as well. And then I'll drop it to 40%. Oh, actually, no, we don't want that. We want, um, we want the fill. Okay, so we want the fill of that to just drop down. Let's go. Go like 70%, yeah. Just so they can see, see behind it. Cool. Just want to make sure everything's centered, so I'm going to center everything. Center it to the R board there. Beautiful. I can also add like other little elements. I liked how some of these, how you see like on the side, they can scroll down. I thought that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, obviously the search, the search little icon. Uh, what else? You got scroll down. Might do like a little arrow. search icon there and then maybe we want our shape so i'm gonna go make a 
stop and after I press down it'll make a triangle keep the stroke and then I'm just going to eyedropper that and something like that little arrow just trying to keep things simple as possible all right cool yeah maybe keep the arrow there and I think it looks looks amazing cool I can add some more details and play around but I think I'm gonna leave it there hope you guys enjoyed this but definitely check out Eagle I think it's an amazing tool and it's great if you're a designer, a UI designer, um, brand designer, because you can um, have so much control over your files and you know mockups, and you can see all your images. Here's a couple examples on their website. You can add tags. It's just super, um, you know, organized. And I love the way the UI is really clean and simple. It's really minimal, and it's not even expensive. It's only like thirty dollars. Super cool. And I love how I can use it in my design projects when I'm creating UI or or a logo or whatever. I think it's super cool. So thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll put the link in the description below so you can check out Eagle for yourself. But remember to smash that like button and also remember to subscribe for more design and creative content every week. Really appreciate it. I'll chat to you next time.